The internet is lying to you. 2008 through 2017 Buick Enclave. Everybody and their grandmother on the internet will tell you that this engine, in order to change the spark plugs, you have to actually remove the intake. Nope, you do not need to remove the intake and you don't need any special tools or anything at all. Actually, I'm using this ratchet and socket that I just found on the ground over there. Okay, so the first step is to remove your oil cap. Then you can remove this engine cover. It just kind of pops off. There are actually two little rubber things right there. They go onto these little standoffs. So now the reason why everyone says that you cannot actually do the spark plugs on this without taking this whole intake off is because of this number six coil right here. And I can tell you that you can definitely get that number six coil out. I'm gonna show you. So we'll first start by pulling off our connector, which actually connects to it. So now, as you can see, we've got it. But we do have this in the way. This is your purge solenoid. Now, you can disconnect this by collapsing, pressing on the front and the back of the green parts of this. That will pull that off, and then there's just a little clip here. You don't have to do any of that. Just take a regular 10 millimeter, like this, Okay, there's a 10 millimeter. Let's see if we can get a better view of it. Kind of hard to get a view of it. Okay, you can kind of see it right there at the tip of my finger. So basically all we have to do is take that out now. Well, all right, so now we can kind of see that I've got this bolt out a little bit more. This is just one bolt that holds this whole purge solenoid on. So now all we have to do is just pull this out. This has a little O-ring on it. I would suggest changing that. And now you still might be thinking that it's gonna hit that. Well, watch this. So now basically just take your 10 millimeter that we found on the ground over there. And as you can see, you can fit it right in there. Go ahead and start to loosen it. And what I like to do is actually you can take the socket off of there and give you some more torque. Okay, so the great thing about this is you can just kind of pull that out. Now watch this. You want to give it a nice little pull. I just put these in here yesterday. That's how I know you can do this number six without it. So what you do is you kind of start to pull it out you just spin it like that. Look at this. Wow, internet. Wow. Wow. And then, I mean, look at, you got a straight shot down. Now, obviously from here, you know, um, it's just a regular uh, tune-up. Use a, an extension with a proper socket that holds onto the spark plug so you do not drop them down in there and then um, you go on from there. Now, the rears are a little bit harder, but you can touch every single one of them. You can do this without taking this off, I promise you. It's gonna take a little bit of braille and using your hands uh, more than your eyes because you can't really see back there. But, and I mean, look, these are right there. They're easy to get to. Now, the reason I think why people make, everybody makes a video on this because this is one of the most easiest intakes in the world to take off, but, Look at all of these hoses and connectors. This is all brittle, brittle plastic that has gone through lots and lots of heat cycles. These engines are getting up there. You do not want to break any of those. Believe me, it's so easy to break any of these little connectors, getting them in and out. And then just real time, just to show you, you know, you'd change your plug, take it out, put it back in. And then to go back in, I don't know why People think you have to remove that. It just doesn't make any sense. Like I said, all you have to do is just remove this. And then when you go back, that just plugs in there like that. Then you put your bolt back in it. A1 Auto, I'm, I'm looking at you. But um, back to the reason why I think a lot of people do videos on this because it is only five bolts, I think, to remove this intake. And they're just kind of trying to show their friends that they can do it, which is whatever, that's good. But then, like I said, it's brittle plastic. You expose your intake, you know, the ports down there. Uh, you got to cover them up. You know, you can get stuff down in there, all that. This point, 
these engines, you take this intake off, I would definitely suggest to redo the intake manifold gaskets. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I just kind of wanted to make this video because I could not believe the sheer amount of videos that people have done on this specific doing the spark plugs on a Buick Enclave. And I just could not believe it. If I did that in any of the shops that I worked at, they would have walked me out to the parking lot and gave me the pink slip or whatever. If I had somebody like that in my shop doing that, I'd, there'd be a serious talking to because, I mean, that's, that's more than obvious, you know. Um, I do suggest changing that little O-ring on the purge valve, but um, other than that, I mean, look, at he's, he's already ready to put it back together. So thank you again so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. Um, I really just mostly ask that you subscribe, and basically you get free auto repair tips all day long. So, And I love giving them. So um, if you guys have any topics or problems with your vehicle that you need assistance with, go ahead and drop the comments down below on any of my videos. I'll answer them, and uh, we'll get back to them, and we'll help you repair them. Appreciate you so much. This is Joe with Blown Auto and Audio, and have a good one. Thanks. Bye.